Now, CBS News Miami investigates homeowners associations concerns in another South Florida community. For the better part of a year, you've called us from all over South Florida looking for help and solutions to what's happening in your communities. Yeah, and that's exactly what happened here when residents of Ramblewood East and Coral Springs called our Joan Murray. For more than eight months, she's been digging into their concerns and what could be done about it. The first impression of Ramblewood East, sheer size. The gigantic condo community off University Drive in Northwest Broward has 1,020 units. According to the property appraiser, 203 units are owned by the condo association. For some, it's an affordable roof over their heads. Others, anything but home sweet home. It was very low uh, at the time I purchased it for 72000 Jonathan Gonzalez has lived at Ramblewood five years, his first venture into home ownership and what's turned out to be an unhappy decision. He said the parking lot and sidewalks flood. There are roof leaks and spotty maintenance. I called the office multiple times. Very faulty. Frustrated with the office, he had a confrontation in March and was arrested. According to the arrest report, he came into the office and began yelling profanities. Police say he intentionally spit at a worker. Gonzalez was charged with battery. He denies he intentionally spit on the woman. The Broward State Attorney says no formal charge has been filed. I, I couldn't even channel why I'm receiving this type of um, you know, this, this, this experience. With CBS Miami, this we went to the Ramblewood office to talk to the association president. He declined to be interviewed. We also tried the association attorney. He also said no. Gonzalez and other residents tell me they are frustrated. There aren't regular board meetings to talk about their concerns, but that wasn't always the case. What would be the reason that we would buy a unit that is not we found on YouTube this Ramblewood East Association meeting from a decade ago. Then residents asked questions and got answers. But many of the units that we've stepped in on and negotiated with owners were either in delinquency or upside down. So from that perspective, we're just trying to get somebody, I hate to be blunt, moved on as a community so the unit becomes a productive unit for me. The association has bought units to rent out as a means of boosting revenue, but that extra money isn't enough to erase a huge debt. In reviewing pages of documents, we found the Ramblewood Condominium East Association owes over $4 million to the city of Coral Springs. The liens continue to accrue interest every day they aren't paid. I was appointed in July 2020 as Florida's condominium ombudsman. Spencer Henning served as a liaison for Florida condo owners. We went to him for insight on Florida condo law to see what's in place to help residents. He said while he was in the job, he often met with dissatisfied condo owners. Financial issues are uh, one of the main concerns for condominium unit owners because when you buy into a condominium, when you buy a condominium unit, um, there are pros and cons to that decision. Henning said owners have the right to inspect the association's financial records with notice. So the unit owner uh, is able to give a request in writing to the association saying, hi, I'd like to come into the office and I'd like to inspect all these records, the contracts, the bids, the election materials, etc. And the association has 10 working days to provide the unit owner access uh, to, to view those records. If they fail to do that, residents can file a complaint with the State Department of Business and Professional Regulation. We went to the office again to try to speak to the association president and reach out to the board. We did not hear back. Residents tell me they are not giving up on trying to get their worries addressed, and we will continue to try to get some answers. In Coral Springs, Joan Murray, CBS News, Miami.